couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? I'm Asaf Levavi and I welcome you to the 10th and final lesson in Finally Understanding Chords, the 10 Lesson Chord Theory Masterclass course right here on Lickin' Riff. It's been quite a journey. We've been over every type of chord possible on the guitar neck. So uh, all that's left is to ask the question, what's next? Where do we go from here? So um, the obvious solution is to use the chords, to practice them, to try different songs in different genres, in different styles, including jazz songs, and see how quickly you can recognize the chords, build them, find them, and manipulate them, as I showed you in the previous uh, nine lessons and in the introduction. So uh, in order to do that, just take it slowly, one chord method at a time. Jazz songs, jazz chords. Normal songs, normal chords. Embellished chords, like in BG songs, uh, by all means, pick a BG song and start uh, toying around with the chords. Try to find the same chord progressions in different places on the guitar neck. For example, you can find A minor, D, E minor, and G uh, here. You can find them here. You can find them here. So uh, try to pick an area of the neck and focus on playing the same chord progression everywhere on the neck. Uh, that's another exercise. The third exercise, of course, is ear training. Train yourself to recognize the chords that are being played. Now that you know so many types of chords and embellishments, uh, try to see if you can recognize them. Um, record yourself playing uh, a few chords as different from each other as possible. Wait a week, listen to the recording, and try to see if you can recognize the chords. Or better yet, try to listen to a guitar player play without looking at the video, if there is one, and try to see if you can recognize the chord types. If you can't, just sit with a specific chord type. For example, add nine chords. Play each add nine chord you can think of. And uh, also, of course, this. And uh, this. And try to see if you can uh, recognize the flavor of the add nine. Do the same with seventh chords. Do the same with minor seventh chords, with major seventh chords, with minor major seven chords. Do the same with jazz chords. For example, this should be a really easily recognizable chord because of its very distinct flavor. But this can really confuse you because it's a flat 13 chord but it's really close to the augmented chord as we've discussed before. So try to see if you can tell the difference between this and this. If you can recognize the seventh in there. Try to train your ear. I'll be making ear training videos uh, really, really soon, but in the meantime, train your own ear. Try to see if you can find chords. Listen to a guitar player play and try to find the chords that they're playing. Uh, listen to a guitar composition and try to find the harmonies that are being played there, even if they're just minor and major chords with just one embellishment. Just a very simple embellishment. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Okay? But try to learn and, um, and hear those. And the more you try, the more you'll succeed. And the faster you'll get at it. And eventually you'll be able to hear... What happened to me, for example, was uh, I recognized the quantum leap in my uh, hearing, musical hearing, when I was sitting in a movie and suddenly the, the credits rolled and the theme song played and I suddenly recognized all the chords that the piano player played there. Suddenly I heard the ninth chords, I heard the major seven chords, I even heard a thirteenth chord there. And up to that point I wasn't sure if I could do it. But lo and behold, I just sat in the movie theater and knew 
every chord that the piano played. And I'm a guitar player, so trust me, it takes a bit of time, but one day you'll wake up and you'll be able to recognize chords like this. You'll be listening to a song in the radio and suddenly you'll realize that you know exactly what the guitar player is playing. All it takes is practice, all it takes is trying to do it, and you'll succeed. For example, um, the very first step is listening to rock songs and recognizing when the guitar player plays <laughs> a full bar chord, or when they play a uh, fat um, power chord, or a lean power chord, okay, with just two notes instead of three. That's a really good step, and you feel really confident when you can hear that. And if you're still hungry for chord knowledge, then I've got a lesson on how to find the chords to any key in five seconds. It's a nice trick. It takes uh, about uh, 10 or 20 minutes to teach it, but once you know the trick, you can find the chords to any key in five seconds. I also have a video about uh, barred chords and how to memorize the neck for barred chords, how to practice barred chords. I also have a lesson on, um, on practically anything you can think of by now, actually, uh, that has to do with finger styles. So uh, just choose one of the beginner finger style exercise videos. Uh, everything has to do with chords and finger styles. So, um, just go do that. So um, I'll let you go. Please feel free to share the entire course with anybody you want. Everybody has a right to learn guitar here on Lick and Riff for free. And if you want to give something back for this course, then uh, there's a donation button on the website, lickandriff.com. And um, whatever you think uh, you want to pay for this course, feel free to do so. And everything goes right back to Lick and Riff into making the lessons, making the courses, making... Uh, making your guitar education and um, it was my pleasure so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson as always I love you guys and girls and um, go have fun with your ear training bye for now